he kind of hit the ground running uh, in regular coverage, and he's gotten better and better of attacking smaller defenders uh, with slip outs, with rolls, uh, with us throwing it up to him. We threw it up to him multiple times tonight, and then he gets on the glass a little bit too. Mark, uh, with the reference to Chad, he also seemed to be a little bit more physical tonight, just kind of getting his shoulder into guys and playing through bumps, sometimes even initiating those a little bit. Is, is that something he's grown into more over the course of the year? Uh, a little bit. I think he's learned how to apply the physicality. One of the things that was always impressive to me, uh, even early on, was how physical he is on offense. You know, he delivers hits. Um, he's very rarely getting, like, knocked around on that end of the floor. Um, and so... Uh, he's kind of done that from day one, and he's just learned kind of how to apply it and um, has done a nice job of doing so. It looked in the fourth quarter like maybe sort of in real time Gordon was shaking off a little rust. Did you see a, a little more comfort as he went on there? Yeah, I think so. You know, he hasn't played. You know, it's it's one thing to be new to the team. It's quite another. He hasn't played in a long time. He's played almost two months, so um, it takes time to, to get going, and he's also adjusting to a lot of other things right now. So, like I said, um, not going to overreact to a small sample right now. Now we're just trying to get he and Biz uh, integrated and get, you know, them in shape and, and you know, in rhythm with the to the team, and uh, both of them have taken a great approach to that, and I thought Gordon took another step forward tonight. Mark, earlier in the season, we were talking about just how last year's team just wasn't really a live throwing team, and this year's team, uh, by the start of that first month, already throwing, I think, more lobs than last year's, and obviously a component of that is Chet, but if now beyond, you know, Chet Dub connection, other guys are starting to throw him lobs, do you think, I mean, what would you attribute, attribute that to? Is it more, you know, you're, you're you know, putting sets out there that are welcoming that or are guys just being more comfortable as ball handlers like what is that uh i think they're more comfortable throwing it and it's yeah to be honest it's been an emphasis you know it's been something that um we've definitely tried to highlight um especially against switches you know if they're going to put a smaller guy on him and switch him uh we have to throw the ball up to him and force them to to bring extra help to that and and make that be a threat um, we just can't allow teams to just switch us and, and take him out of the pick and roll game. And um, the guys have done a great job of doing that. I thought we'd get that in the game again tonight. They switched him most of the night, and a lot of those lob plays were against the switch. Anybody else? Yeah, Coach, I'm sorry. Oh, Maybe good. Last night you, you, you made 17 threes. Tonight, second game of back, back, back with 20 threes. Talk yep. a little bit about the shooting tonight. Um, I mean, there's obviously shot making variants every night, uh, so you can't rely on a certain number. But, but uh, yeah, I think we we've gotten good ones the last couple of nights. I thought. What did you make of just those guys getting an opportunity and and making the most of this opportunity? Yeah, we had a couple open active spots and, and wanted to give them the opportunity to dress um, in the case that, you know, the game was uh, like that in one direction or the other. Um, and so glad we did that. I'm happy for Adam. You know, he... He had an, an injury uh, that was... Long rehab, similar to the way we've talked about some of those other long rehabs, uh, and like I've said before, there's a lot of dark days with that. He's incredibly professional, diligent, um, and he's worked himself all the way back to the point where now he's playing in an NBA game. So I'm really happy for him. Mark, forgive me if you were asked this before I walked in, but Shay, I, I know you like to say that you don't expect certain things from anybody, or you don't have expectations for anybody. But Shay, by now, is like a walking 30 piece i mean that's that's what he does every game have have you come to expect that do you breach that that kind of mantra for for your expectations for him um the thing that he's been most consistent with is his approach his competitiveness his temperament um his leadership in his own way uh those are the things that you know because of how he's done them so consistently i've come to expect you know the scoring is is as consistent as he is at it it's still an outcome but all those other things are part of a process that um he's really refined over, over a period of time and that he brings regardless of what's going on in the season or what's going on in the game. Uh, and it's really brought a steady hand uh, to our team. And so if there's any expectation that, that he's, 
you know, formed in me. It's, it's those things. It's the things that, you know, are controllable that he does such a great job at. 